Quinlan Vos was a Jedi who lived during the Clone Wars. He was taken and raised at the Jedi Temple from a very young age. He had the rare ability of psychometry, which was the ability to see the history and memories associated with inanimate objects. His talents as an excellent tracker, combined with his willingness to bend the rules of the Jedi Code, made him the ideal candidate for covert missions in the criminal underworld. Near the end of the Clone Wars, the Jedi Council made the difficult decision to assassinate Count Dooku. The mission was given to Quinlan, and he was ordered to join forces with Dooku's former apprentice, Asajj Ventress. Asajj trained him in the ways of the dark side in order to make him stronger in battle, and the two happened to fall in love. Voss briefly fell completely to the dark side, but his love for Ventress allowed him to find his way back to the light. Ultimately, the assassination failed, Asajj was killed, and Quinlan returned to the Jedi Council a different man. The last known location of Quinlan Vos was Baz Pity, shortly before the execution of Order 66. He was most likely killed in the Jedi Purge, although this is not verified by any current canon content. So his survival is a possibility. Behind the scenes, the character design was based on a background character that can be briefly seen in The Phantom Menace. There is much more to Quinlan's story and Legends material, and I do plan to do a video covering that version. But that's it for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share to see new Star Wars videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.